Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna talk applicators today. I'm gonna narrow down my favorite applicators to create the most flawless face. So without further ado, let's get started. channel. I'm Christy. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Join my glam fam. I do upload new videos every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and follow me at Christy Lore on Instagram. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up as well. We're going to talk applicators today. There are so many on the market and I know it can be kind of like people can get lost. You can go into Ulta and there's a ton of brands now that have so many different sponges and puffs and it's like which one do I buy? And it's holiday season. We're getting ready for Christmas. And I thought this would be a good time to, you know, just narrow down my favorites and show you guys which ones I like. And maybe you can find some for your loved ones. They make great stocking stuffers as well. So we'll start off with the foundation portion. I like brushes more than anything to apply my initial foundation application. And then I like to go in with a sponge. And right now, I used to love Beauty Blender and I have you know new ones on standby because you really want to interchange them every three months and you really need to clean them after you uh, you know do your makeup every single time. You definitely want to get into cleaning them. But Dose of Colors is my favorite right now. This sponge is amazing. This one's really dirty. So I brought out my new one. Again, I always have new ones on standby. So this is what it looks like before you wet it and that's what it looks like when it's damp. Obviously, I just did my makeup so this one's all dirty but I don't know what it is about this sponge, but it just, it's something about the way it just applies your makeup or, you know, takes off some of your makeup. Because typically a sponge is made to help if you put too much product on, it helps absorb, that's why it absorbs into there and it helps pull some of that product to make it look more flawless and airbrushed. I do love the Morphe one. That's probably my other favorite one. This is the Jeffree Star one, but you can also get it in red. What I like about this one is it's easy to contour with, yet it has that point. Uh, but somehow the texture of the Dose of Colors one, like I wish almost like it would be like this texture in that one. <laughs> This is good, but it's this one is just to me the best sponge on the market. I love this dose of colors one and you can find this one at Ulta. So I will put all the links on the bottom. And then we have Stands Out Beauty. I did this video a little, oh gosh, like two years ago when it first launched and I was like blown away by how innovative it was. And I really loved the owner and, I mean, I don't know her personally, but I just liked her story. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It looks like a little diamond. It's so beautiful. Now, in full transparency, they did send me a brand new one. So thank you very much, Stands Out Beauty. But I did purchase the original one and I did review it and like it based off of what I purchased. So. I moved around so much recently that I lost my original one. So I love, it's like a memory foam. Once you wet it, it will expand out and you don't, You I think you only have to wet this one one time, I think in the very beginning, if I remember right. I'll show the details of this sponge. So this one says that it's recommended to use this sponge damp the first three to five uses while in the break-in period. After that, water is optional. And that was the beauty of this sponge was that you didn't have to always wet it versus, you know, like a typical beauty blender or makeup sponge where you do have to wet it because that's the only way it's really going to apply the makeup flawlessly. The Stands Out Beauty Sponge can also be used as a finishing tool by lightly patting and rolling all over the face, leaving a seamlessly blended look. The warmth of your skin is all that you need for Stands Out Beauty Sponge to reach its optimal softness for you. So pro tips is use the large rounded size for pressing and rolling into large areas of the face, such as cheek, 
chin and forehead. Use the triangular side for applying concealer and powder underneath the eye area. Use the flat side for perfecting your contour under your cheekbones, jawline, and along your nose. It's a multifunctional blending tool designed to apply a streak-free airbrush finish to your complexion. It got a little smushed in the packaging, but once you wet it, it's all normal. And obviously you're gonna wet it because you're gonna wanna clean it, especially if you're using it for foundation, but this is amazing. Like it literally, you can contour with this. You guys have to check out that video and I'll use it in an upcoming video. But I just wanted to talk about my different applicators because this is one of my favorites still. And I love it for setting. It's so pretty. Even to put like highlighter on, like I have the Nymph highlighter from Huda Beauty on. Let me just show you guys how pretty you can apply this. So it goes on like that and see how pretty that is. Like how beautiful is that? It's just so soft and it's literally feels like a memory foam pillow. It's so cool. It's such an innovative tool. I liked it for foundation, but still you guys, I love applying foundation with my brush first, but since this is not one that's actually going to absorb the product, I wouldn't recommend going in with this one to, you know, like take off product. Uh, I would still recommend using a blender. I truly feel like if you're really into makeup, there's quite a few applicators you need. I mean, there's not just one that's gonna do everything. Yes, it, it, they can, like obviously, you can use a beauty blender or sponge or whatever one you choose to do your entire face and be done. But for a lot of us, like there's different tools that we like and different products call for different tools sometimes because the consistency of products. So there's so many multiple reasons why you know, different applicators are good for certain situations. But what I liked about this one too is applying skincare. I thought it was really good for applying skincare stuff and powders, oh my gosh. Especially like uh, the Makeup Forever powders, the matte velvet powders, oh my goodness. Let me just show you guys. I have it in my Z palette right here. I always carry my Makeup Forever ones in here. So this is like my normal skin color one. Let's just put it on the big side right here and just rolling it in there, which is so nice. I mean, it really is, you guys. It applies it so nicely, the powders, like foundation powders, very flawlessly and very, very, very natural. So still one of my favorites as far as applicators go. Then down the list would be my Laura Mercier. This is also a good one to just really use like your my hourglass powder with or Laura Mercier setting powder with. Uh, the Tati Blendiful, I did a video on this as well. This is still a really great tool too. I still really like it. It just gets really dirty and it gets annoying washing these all the time, these velour puffs. I just feel like these really are so much easier sometimes or just brushes in general, but I do really, really, really like these. My other favorite would be the Beauty Blender uh, Little Velour Puff. I like this one as well. It really gets in there and just kind of like softens everything out. So if I was ranking puffs, this would be the Stands Out Beauty Sponge would probably be number one. And then I would probably go for the Beauty Blender one. I really like this one. And then the Tati Blendiful. And then the Laura Mercier would be after that. As far as sponges go, this is gonna be a really short video because this is all I'm talking about. And I know, right? Shocker. And then we have my sponges. So my sponges would be, Dose of Colors would be number one. So I'm gonna rank that. Morphe would be number two. And Dose of Colors is, I think, around 16. Morphe's around, if you buy them individually, I think it's around $8, but I'll put the price point. I can't, don't quote me on that. And then I like the Makeup Eraser one. This one's really cool. You can actually wash this one. I don't know where the little ball is, but it comes and I'll show you guys right there. The little ball and you can put it in your washer and wash it. So that's what's nice about this one. And it's different and I like the shape of this one. It's very unique. So you have the, like the diamond shape type and then this one has like a little flat contour to really go in there. And then you have the Morphe one with the flat square. So I'll put them all right there so you guys can see them. And then Beauty Blender, obviously, Obviously is OG, right? It's really good, but it's still not my favorite. I don't know. I just found the Dose of Colors one to be my absolute favorite. And it's funny, I just did a masterclass with Patrick Ta, and he even said that was his, the Dose of Colors one was his favorite too. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's my favorite. And I don't know, he said the same thing. There's something about the texture of this sponge that's incredible. So 
To narrow it all down, these two would be my absolute favorite besides brushes. But those are all the, I mean, there's a ton of applicators on the market. The good thing about the Morphe one is it does come with uh, the little guys too, the Jeffree Star one. But actually, I think the red one comes in a trio pack too. I'll show right there on the websites. But this is nice to really like get into like the uh, eyeshadows and stuff like this. I just created this look on the Huda Beauty video, which I don't know if I'll be really seeing this one before, so we'll find out. <laughs> my other, like probably my last favorite would be the Sigma one. This is like a 3D image one. It looks kind of cool. And this one's really good for just like really like getting in there in that little inner corner area. I keep all of my sponges in this little like um, gold and clear box I got on Amazon. You can check out my Amazon store and I put all of my items that I purchased from Amazon in there and I do get an affiliate kickback just so you guys know. But yeah, I love this little thing because then I can just put all the sponges I use. I mean, these old school wedges are always good too. You don't need to wet these and these are good to like cut right here. So let me show you guys. And you can find these on Amazon, they'll be in my store. Let me just take, I've been loving this NARS, you guys. I just uh, did this video. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So this is really good for like, really like, hold on. Let, let me let me get in here to like really like cut like that and like that to really kind of create that look. And then you can just really blend it out after that. But yeah, this is, I mean, these old school sponges were around before everything else and they're flipping amazing and you can get a pack of them on Amazon. So those are really good options too. I'm just giving you guys options, but the ones I always go back to are my Dose of Color sponge and my Stands Out Beauty besides my brushes and my Morphe one, just because I like the Morphe one for really cutting too. So that's nice. But if I have my Stands Out Beauty one, I don't need that edge because I can just use this edge to do that. So I really like that, it really cuts that. Let me just show you guys real quick and do a little demo. So this is my uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless uh, Finish Powder. And then you can just go like this and just cut like that. See how much definition and chiselness you can get with that? It is so nice. And then you just take like your brush and just blend it out. That's why I say you always need like a couple applicators. You're not gonna just be able to use just one applicator. They serve different purposes and that's what I love about them. All right, you guys, that's it. I just wanted to do something really quick and show you guys my favorite applicators, give you some great holiday Christmas ideas, maybe some stocking stuffers, like I said. There are so many applicators, like I stated in the beginning on the market. So hopefully I narrowed that down for you guys. I thought maybe doing a brush one next and maybe breaking it up between eyeshadow brushes I can't live without and then face brushes I can't live without. Comment below, let me know if you wanna see that. Let me know if you enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Give this video a huge thumbs up and follow me at Christy Alar on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead.